What's up guys, this is Chris here from Honest Outlaw and today we are gonna push through the weather. We have had a pretty rough April. Uh, we're gonna put a wind chart up here, but I gotta tell you, it has been almost intolerably windy, rainy, and crazy this entire month, so we haven't been able to film too much, but we're gonna push through it today. I've got a rifle I really wanna shoot, and we've had some lower winds than than normal, which is still 25. <laughs> we got like 57 miles an hour a few weeks ago uh, for like three or four days in a row and it just blew all the siding off my house, blew all the shingles off my shed. It's crazy out here. But anyway, I figured I'd let you know that before I let you know what we're shooting today, which is the Daniel Defense DDM4 V7. Now this gun I got from Brownells. Thank you to Brownells for uh, sponsoring the channel. Uh, they've been sponsoring a couple of videos lately. I'm pretty proud to have them as a sponsor, to be honest. They're one of the biggest and best gun stores in the entire great state of Iowa. They are from where I'm from. They're only about an hour away. And I love a lot of dudes that work there. And uh, yeah, so they sent me over this gun for review. That doesn't mean I'm not gonna tell you all the good and bad things about it. Uh, however, just wanted to get that out of the way. I also want to thank my Patreon supporters for supporting the ammo. Thanks very, very much. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, all you gotta do is go to the link in the description and sign up. Now I want to thank the sponsor of this video, EuroOptic. I'm a big fan of EuroOptic myself. Bought a few optics from them. I like them a lot because all their stuff that they say is in stock is actually in stock. They actually have some pretty cool stuff. If you're looking for any name brand optics or anything like that, anywhere from Leopold, Vortex, all that stuff, if anybody's got it, there's a pretty good chance EuroOptic does. So, go check them out. And finally, I want to mention the YSS. It's a youth shelter in Ames, Iowa. I really like to support that. So go down and click that link. Now, the DDM4 V7 is a relatively well-known, at least company, if not rifle, and that's for good reason. Uh, Daniel Defense has a lot of military contracts, a lot of special operations contracts, and they can pick whatever they want, so keep that in mind. Uh, Daniel Defense also does a lot of other cool stuff, like they make almost all of their parts in-house, and they use almost all of their stuff on their guns instead of subcontracting out. This grip, this stock, Daniel Defense. This barrel, Daniel Defense. This rail system, Daniel Defense. See where I'm going with this? This flash hider, Daniel Defense. Uh, Daniel Defense is well known for making some of the best, if not the best, stock ARs on the market. Uh, arguably, uh, BCM's in there, a few other companies as well. I, I laugh when people say Colt, that's hilarious. But uh, Daniel Defense really is at the top of the food chain, and there's a few reasons why. They, first off, they keep everything in house, they have great quality control, and on top of that, they use premium materials and parts. And let's go through some of those. So first we have Daniel Defense's flash hider on the front there. Uh, as you can see there, it's got ports on the top but not on the bottom. That way it limits your signature when you shoot in dusty environments, things like that. Uh, however, the flash hider does work really well as a flash hider. It's basically an A2 variant, but it also adds some compensation as well. Keep the rifle flat. Uh, we have Daniel Defense's 16 inch cold hammer forged barrel with a mid-length gas system. That is the way to go in my personal opinion. Allows for a large volume of fire, uh, is very durable, but also has that mid-length gas system to eliminate some of that felt recoil that you're gonna get with a carbine length gas system. Also prolongs the internal parts a little bit longer and you're gonna see a theme as far as that goes. We got Daniel Defense's vertical grip there that came on the gun. We also have a Surefire uh, Mini Scout there that looks like it's about to fall off. It got a little loose on me. Uh, but we'll tighten that up here in a little bit. Optic we're gonna be running on is the Comp M5. Uh, I'm pretty interested to try that out. Got that bad boy off Amazon because I'm wanting to try one forever. Uh, about six or seven hundred dollar optic, but it still seems pretty good so far. Uh, Daniel Defense's 15 inch uh, uh, free float M-Lock rail on there. All the real estate you're ever gonna need to put your lights, lasers, and coffee makers, and all kinds of shit. Chainsaw, if you wanna put a chainsaw on there. Um, but yeah, they, they are well known for holding zero, so if you wanna use an IR or a laser or anything like that, these are really good for that. Part of that's due to this insane mounting system that is awesome, but will take you forever to put on and take off by comparison to some of the other rails, so, but anyway. Uh, the uh, upper and lower are high quality and mil spec along with the trigger group and the uh, full ambi safety. I like that a lot. Uh, we don't have ambi controls on the front here and I also like that. Most people like the ambi controls, I personally don't. Uh, I'm a right handed guy, if you're left handed, yeah, I get it, I really do. However, uh, I t I'll take the ambi safety but I'll, I'll leave the uh, mag release and the uh, bolt catch just simply because it gets a little uh, cluttered in there when you're trying to operate stuff. Personal opinion, 
it is what it is. We have their charging handle back here, which works really well, and we also have their pistol grip and buttstock. Now, the only thing on this gun that I don't really like necessarily is the pistol grip. It does have a more vertical angle, which I like, but it is kind of small for me. I like that big Magpul XL, and maybe for the course of the review, we might switch that out. That being said, let's go down and shoot this bad boy and see what one of the best stock ARs is really like. Are you ready? I am ready. All right, so we got our one, but now I have shot this already, so keep that in mind. I, uh, when I got this, I couldn't wait. <laughs> Ooh, man, you can tell I shot it at night, too. Dot too high? Too low. Oh, okay. That's not bad. Just adjust the stock out from my big ass a little bit. Those hostage plates, I was swinging that hostage around at 50 yards, really, really easy. Okay. Now, sadly, with uh, Full Metal Jacket, which is all we have due to the ammo shortage, I don't have any frangible. 50 yards is about as close as we can shoot today. Pretty easy, though. Except for when the wind kicks up. <laughs> it's like half of shooting is recoil control and the other half of Iowa shooting is wind control. Like the wind comes across, it just pushes your rifle right. You can see the clouds going all the way across like 100 miles an hour. Beautiful life. Oh, we're out again. Okay. So, first impressions of the DDM4 V7 are extremely positive. No malfunctions, expected that. Uh, there was no malfunctions the other night when I shot it either. However, uh, it is a little bit on the heavy side by comparison to some of my like custom ARs and stuff like that because I get to pick my uh, I get to pick my accessories and all that stuff. Uh, and I'm a big fan of V7 to a armament. Just a little bit lighter stuff generally because you're gonna carry it a long time. That being said, absolutely fantastic still uh the weight helps control the recoil a little bit better even with the uh, flash hider there's like zero recoil it was really easy to shoot trigger's pretty awesome out of the box although it is a mil spec trigger it is still very very nice uh the grip included grip is really nice i love a vertical grip myself so i'm glad they included that uh the rail system is really comfortable pretty standard for a uh, m-lock rail uh nice and thin so it's easy to get a hold of the stock is not my absolute favorite but it does work really well and they do do a lot of testing on their stock they do a lot of drop tests on the stocks they do a lot of drop tests on the guns they throw the shit out of helicopters and it works for them so obviously it worked for my little test as well speed and accuracy were on point uh, ergonomics are on point what can i say it's a phenomenal gun 
Uh, that being said, we're gonna do a full review of this uh, for sure. Uh, overall, I love the gun. Is it worth the money? I think so, but we'll have to test it a little bit further before I can give you a definitive, is it really worth the two grand price tag? As of right now though, considering this is like my fourth annual defense, I think it is. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Please stop at your local homeless shelters and remember to recycle. I'll check you later before I blow away.